Hello everybody, my name is Ezekiel, and this is my life as an archaeologist. This game was released in January 2022, just released basically a few days ago. Uh, this is a hack and slash clicker that you collect stuff so you can upgrade your stats. It's a nice little game, I played a little bit, not much, just enough to get my feel around it. Uh, this game is developed by Delirium Tremens Games. I don't know how to say that name, sorry if I butchered it. Uh, and also published by them. Here, yeah, let's go to the settings. Not much to see here, just full screen, music, sound, cursor, just show your cursor, just a hand. Background animations, on and off, that's basically it. Research. So here you see, this is where we have a collection basically of all the enemies that we fought. And you get coins along for each enemy that you defeat. And then you can come here and purchase their effects. Like for instance, uh, Green Slime. I get plus 0.5 base HP regen per second. A ball plus 1 base click damage, plus 2 base poison damage and so on. And you see these are not completed, like the research is not completed. That, that means I need to kill another 4 wolves to complete this research, another one of the adult slimes, and so on. And then this will be available for me to purchase. I, I have 35 coins, but it won't allow me until I finish the research. Uh, what else? And that's it for settings and mechanics. So let's give it a new run. You are this. I'll pause it so you get, uh, so I can explain better what this screen is because it's a bit much to take in. So you are this guy, and you basically have to click on the screen to kill the enemy. Here are your items. So you have solve that re just re uh, regens energy and heals you. Uh, tonic and so on. A few things. I only have solve at the moment. I haven't. Unlock the other ones, I think. Here you have the character. You can click C once uh, we're in the battle. Here, C, okay. Uh, stat points left. That means every time you level up, you get stat points, I think, if, if I'm not correct. Probably someone will tell me. But here is a basic chart of all your stats. Uh, inventory. This is where you collect your prizes and then here is where you equip your stuff and let's kill one of these guys so I can so I just click on the screen and then you get the prize in this case boots so if I go to an inventory the boots will be here and here on the right hand side you'll see the rarity of the boots rank so you can level them up and what attributes they give you so to equip you just click and drag and that's it, basically. I have auto fusion, meaning when I have three of the same here in the inventory, this will just combine to level up, so rank one to be rank two, and so on. Better perks, better strategy. I can go, go around it, I think. Anyways, so this is basically the game. This is literally it. Your objective is to progress through this uh, map. And then once you kill the boss here in the end, you'll go to the next level and then you can collect an artifact. Archaeologist made sense. So when you collect the artifact, you get bonuses like plus intelligence and so on. Uh, here, I have no idea what this is actually. Um, here, down here, you see your character, how much health you have, how much energy you have. And this is the enemy that you're currently uh, fighting. Right, so I have gloves. And I will shall equip... I still don't know where I can equip stuff, but... That's something for later. Oh, to collect lines you have to hover them. There you go, another pair of boots, but there I have some. I can check afterwards if they're better. Level up. So, this bar fills up and then I can level up. And there we go. Scarf. 
let me kill this slime and then we'll go to the inventory again. Okay, I have a body, so I'll put it there. And now the scarf doesn't go in that body part. But, okay, what can we do? I'll just put it there because it's a better rarity. Uncommon, this is rare. And this one's common. Yeah, so everything's fine till now. Oh, I have unlocked the tonic. Oh, get the coin. Kill the boar. Oh, I got a sword, so let's equip the sword on the other hand. Uh, hit. And that's literally it. I can't equip more stuff. It's an interesting kind of game. I kind of like these kind of games. Oh yeah, and from time to time you get these tarot cards. They give you perks, or for instance, this one gives you 100 gold instantaneously. Heal, oh, this one, heal, mm. this one is the Hiero, Hierophant. You still get 100 gold. The Lovers, heal all of your HP, gain a shield equal to your max HP. For death, triples your gold, then you lose. I don't really want this one, I want to continue. Uh, so let's put this one. I'll just keep clicking, there we go. Another scarf, it's a better than the one I have. If I press Alt, no. It's a bit worse, so I'll just keep whatever I have. Full research on this one. I leveled up. Come on, slime, and let's kill him quickly. Oh, a necklace. I can equip that. I already had a necklace. I thought I missed it. Alright, so... Going. That is better than the one I have. Um, yeah, let's equip it. Okay, let's go to our character. See, these are moving a little bit. And every time, if I don't click, they have auto click. As you see, there was an extra pointer there. So if I don't, it does some damage, but it's better to click. It. It's way faster to kill enemies. So let's try and speed up this process so I can show you what the boss looks like. Uh, level up. Uh, heal up. Um, that's nice. Okay. Another tarot card. Uh, next enemy. The moon. The next enemy has double HP attack, but will drop a legendary item. That's always good. The devil face the boss of this on immediately. Okay, death. I don't really want that. Hey, yeah, let's fight the boss so I can show you the boss. Here we go. This is the boss of this level, so this is Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad King, sorry. Sorry, your highness. Let's heal up. Uh, click, click, click. Click into my hat. So. There we go. Now I can pick one. Infinite Hourglass can point percent damage each second spent on a fight. Uh, Book of the Dead. Each click has one percent activate. Each click has one percent chance to activate your when you kill an enemy artifact. Okay. Charge crystal every time you activate an item, soft tonic. You have thirty percent chance of double its effects. Okay, let's put an infinite hourglass. And go to the next uh, level. Ta San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay, let's kill this skeleton. Arr! That's a hard skeleton. Okay, inventory. Alright, it's combining the gloves and... Oh, and the scarves as well. That's always good. Cool, so I have a scarf which is a bit better than one that I have, so let's replace it. Then common weapon, and I have just a common weapon, so let's replace it as well. Uncommon head, and it's better with the one I have. 
glove. I think the, the one I have is better. So let's keep going. And this is literally it. And I'm gonna lose. Yeah, there we go. I didn't lose on purpose, but there we go. Uh, this is how you end up. This is the artifacts I found. Infinite Hourglass, got him percent damage, that's the one I just picked. The last enemy was a spider. Okay, I guess. Research no, card bot no, total HP, blah blah. And this is all the stats. So if I click back to the menu and click research. I haven't found anything. Well, I found the spider and it's here in the card again, but I haven't fought these guys enough to level up. But I have 75 coins, so not too bad. There you go, guys. That was my life as an archaeologist. Fun little game. Nice to just chill a little bit. Nothing like that. I will just spend hours playing, I guess. Well, knowing me, probably I will. But you know what I mean. So if you like this game, this game is available on Steam for $3.99. If you want it, I'll leave the link in the video description. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you guys next time.